What's going on guys, Victor here. I got a beautiful little male hogfish caught over here on the west coast. I'll show you guys how to fillet it up. So, hogfish, I like a flexible knife so I can really contour to the body of the fish. This is an eight inch flexible fillet. I'm gonna have it linked below for you guys. So line your fish up with the edge of the fillet table, kind of feel around to where the head meat ends, which is like right here. And then you follow around the pec fin over the rib cage down to the ventral fin right there. Take the tip of your knife and we just outline this fish's body. This is very superficially. It's literally just the tip going in all the way from the head to the tail. Now, I like to take my knife, rest it on the fish's spine, flush with the spine and kind of just work my way up. And you guys can see, since this knife is flexible, it really allows me to get in there nice. And you use your left hand always to lift up the fillet, or if you're left-handed, your right hand, always lifting up as you go so you can really see what you're doing, you know? And we do this process until we get to the fish's backbone, which is, you guys hear right this, listen. That's the backbone right there. You do that until you get there. Then, hogfish, snapper, grouper, all have a really big rib cage and set of pin bones, which is this line of bones right here, right behind the head. It attaches the fillet to the rib cage. You wanna break through those. Once you break through them, you wanna take your knife and just glide on the rib cage right here. Then take your knife and go on the other side of the backbone, tip of your knife down, and just peel that meat away. And that's it. Beautiful hogfish fillet. You guys can see the knife does very quick work. Now we're gonna set this aside. I'm gonna show you the other side. And so a lot of people, I know myself too, the second side is always harder than the first. You really gotta take your time more with the second side because now your fish is not laying flat, especially fish with bigger heads because it's kind of lopsided. So really take your time and just find the angle that works for you. I like to take the tip of my knife and go from the head to the tail once again, very superficially. And now what I like to do is go from the tail to the head and rest my knife on that fish's spine and just let that knife and fish's body guide me. If you're not hearing your knife on the bone, rethink what you're doing because that's what you should be hearing, the knife on the bone. You don't want to just be cutting through soft flesh. Now, this is the pin bones again. You gotta give it a little umph, break through the pin bones, and you're gonna feel when it gets free. Now I can lift this, go on the rib cage once again, down on the backbone. Peel it away, peel it away. And that's it. And there you have it. You guys can see there's nothing left on that hog. You see that light coming through? Just take your time with your fish and the better you get, the faster you can go. So now real quickly, because it's about to start raining, I'm gonna show you guys how to skin it. Line your fillet, always tail half towards you, head half away from you. Take your knife at a slight angle and just push away. Okay, the skin's removed, we get rid of that. Now you just have a set of pin bones right here, which lie from the head half towards the tail half about halfway. Take your knife on one side of it, you can feel the pin bones with your finger. Take your knife on the other side, shave away, bam, boom, done. Now you guys are ready to eat some delicious hogfish. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys are interested in the knife I use today, you guys can find it linked below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.